Look, the next five years are around um, sending a completely different message around what this continent or, um, has to offer. Welcome to another episode of The Art of Individuality on Between 10 and 5, a content series sponsored by Glenn Friedrich where we explore creative mavericks. Today, we've got Mandela Sebeko, who's chairman of NetFlorist and also co-director of the FMB Joburg Art Fair. Mandela, it is absolutely fantastic to have you on the show today. Welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Could you tell us a little bit about um, kind of what's your day-to-day -day spent on? How do you spend your, your, your average day? My life is centered very much around my passions. Not to say that some of the things that I do are very um, easy, or but you know they're part of my business in terms of uh, sometimes you have to face difficult, uh, have difficult conversations with different people in a different part of the day or part of the month or part of the week. But uh, I'm very fortunate to say that a big percentage of what I do now is very much what I'm passionate about. Yeah. And you've got two very different businesses really that you're involved with at the moment. Net Florist on the one side, yeah. shipping flowers to people and yeah. you're expanding into gifts now I believe as well. Yes. Um, and then on the other side, the F&B Joburg Art Fair, those are two very different worlds. How do you put those passions together and how do you make sense of that? Look, I think, um, you know, it's always been very difficult to pin down um, or for people to pin down what do I, how do I manage? Uh, because I've always worked in a very diversified and different kinds of businesses. Uh, over the years, I've scaled down, I, I think but I'm still involved in more than seven businesses. Okay. Um, the ones that are, I guess, known at the moment mostly by people is obviously the art side and obviously the e-commerce side, Net Florist. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is that I've actually been a shareholder at Net Florist from, for the last 12 to 13 years. So oh, wow. um, I've been very much uh, been part and parcel of its growth. And uh, yes, of recently, it's the, the excitement is around the new, um, I guess, direction the company is taking in terms of adding new things to it in line with this consumer growth that we're experiencing yeah. in South Africa or people moving more into the middle class bracket. So, yeah, there is a new bakery, an online bakery, and the gifting side actually uh, started a couple of years ago. And uh, so I've been uh, kind of very lucky to work in so many different areas. I mean, uh, a couple of years ago, I was one of the first people to open a pick and pay store in Soweto in, okay. in 2008. Wow. And, um, and that on its own came as an entire uh, packaged MBA on its own, <laughs> just, <laughs> just learning the, to trade. In here's the deep end, go. <laughs> that's yeah. it. Yeah. It was complete deep end. And um, I'm, actually, that's the right word <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because I, had literally eight weeks uh, to open the shop, wow. um, to sort of uh, refurbish the store, train the staff, train myself, be trained, and uh, and open in this location that um, knew very little about. And um, so, um, yeah, it's been an incredible journey uh, looking back to then in 2008, but at the same time, you know, when you're an entrepreneur, you never know what's going to happen. You know, mm. like you start planning things. Like I, I, I tend to plan uh, for things and things happen. And mm. so you have to adjust. The biggest asset an entrepreneur has is the creation side. If we don't create, then we don't have anything. So, so yeah, and I think um, creation is the future. Mm. Creation is uh, um, the future of South Africa and it is the future of the continent. And um, also, I think in a big way, um, we're gonna start to realize that the future is not your big multinationals, the Coca-Colas of this world, the South African breweries of this world. It's going to be small individuals creating something that is unique and special in whichever communities they reside. Mm. And there's a lot more opportunity like that opening up. I mean, South Africa is, one of the, I, I believe, one of the places that has so many opportunities open for entrepreneurs and for people wanting to do their own thing. It's um, there's a wealth almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think South Africa's um, we 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 privileged in the sense that, and and perhaps 
also crazy in I guess we, I call us I call South Africans crazy in the sense yeah. that we have the best of the first world mm -hmm. and then and obviously we have a combination of first and third world so I think um, the coming together of these worlds um, which is really what South Africa the new South Africa is about it's mm -hmm. about making sure that we take one step up all the time uh, to get to a better place I think the next five years are around how does one help the continent um, sort of um, not even help, but it's, it's really going to be geared around being involved in technologies that help to move this continent forward. I think uh, if we talk in gender equity or, ge or closing the gender gap, uh, we can close it much faster through technology. If we talking around um, accelerating growth in health or whatever, I think we can do it much faster uh, through health. And look, the next five years are around um, sending a completely different message around what this continent or, um, has to offer to the world. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of my work will be centered around taking a very unique South African experience or a unique African experience to the rest of the world because in my travels, I still feel that there's still such a huge opportunity to showcase what we're good at. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. Manda, thank you so much for joining us on the Art of Individuality. It's been great thank to you. have you here. Um, you. And we look forward to following your, the rest of your, your work and travels.